Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG. We've got a fun show for you today. We're actually going to show you how to build a stainless steel belt buckle. Uh, yes, uh, you know, in, in my early days of welding, I practiced a lot doing crazy things, and belt buckles happen to be one of those. So I thought I'd share it with you. It's very low cost. Uh, I just want to give you an idea of what the items you need to do this. And this is just a stainless steel blank. You, know, you can buy stainless steel anywhere. You can go to McMaster Car Catalog. You can go to your local supply house. 304 stainless works great. If you got 316, it'll shine up very nicely. So make the buckle just the size that you want. And this was just a very common size. Now one of the things to keep in mind is when you're welding on a buckle, you got to be able to see exactly what you're going to scroll out. So what we did is we selected a name that looked kind of good, good on the buckle, and you mark it out in, in, a, in some kind of a black felt tip. So we picked out the name Eva. Uh, now, once you go ahead and you print this out, if you don't get it centered, just wipe it clean and do it again because what we're going to do next is i got to put on my safety glasses, and I'm going to scroll right over the top of this. I'm going to use my Dremel. It's got a little bit in it. You can use anything you want, but I'm actually going to turn this on and act like I'm grinding and follow this perfectly. And once I do that, then under the hood, I can see it and I can weld. So let me do that. We'll do this in a series of parts so you can see exactly how we build this thing. Okay, now, now that I've, you know, kind of etched this in or, or drawn it in with the Dremel, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wipe off anything on the surface. So the, uh, the lettering will still be there. The black magic marker will disappear. Okay, so you can see this. Now under the hood, I'm going to be able to see this also. What I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and I want to deburr this. It's kind of a rough polish, but I've got a deburring wheel. And later on the show, you'll be able to see some of the notes, the type of wheel that I'm using and where you can get it, and even a part number. Again, I get it from uh, McMaster Car. So I'm going to deburr it. I'm going to get rid of these rough edges here, around the corners a little bit. And this is my rough polish or deburring. Hey guys, this episode of Take Time is brought to you by Napotnik Welding Supplies. And I'm in the showroom and I can tell you that they've got all kinds of welding equipment and supplies from all the major brands. They have monthly specials. And if you'd like those monthly specials sent to you in your email, simply click on the link. Now let's get back to welding. Okay, well, I can see the scribe line okay. It's just a matter of following it, doing dabs, dab. And, you know, you can weld backwards, like what I'm doing right now. Get out of position, just taper off and stop. This one time when I was in band camp.
Okay, now that I've, I've finished the first layer, uh, the material's pretty hot right now, so I'm not gonna do anything with it. Uh, but as soon as it cools off, I'm gonna polish it lightly. You can see it's still got some discoloration to it. So I'm gonna polish it and take off as much as I, I can. Then I'm gonna do a second layer. And the second layer is where you start getting the 3D or you get the depth to this. So lay down your first layer, and if it looks a little bit wide, that's normal. It'll start building up shortly. So let me uh, let this cool off, and I'll get back with you shortly. Okay, because I used the polishing wheel and, and, uh, and the buffing wheel, there's a little bit of compound on those. So there's probably some residual on the surface here. And all I'm doing is when I'm welding stainless steel, I'm getting a little oxide on there, a little chromium oxide. So I like to get it removed before I do the second layer. So because there's a residue on there, I'm gonna go ahead and, and alcohol wipe this. Just to make sure there's no compound in the cracks or crevices here. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my gear on and, and do another complete pass over this name. Okay, so I, I put a second bead on there, a second layer, and you can actually put two or three or four, depending on how much depth you want on it. But as you start welding on a flat surface, you're going to notice that it's starting to distort, starting to uh, pull to the wrong direction. If you're going to wear a belt, you don't want it to pull that way. So I'm going to just use a poor man's way of straightening this and putting a little bit of a bend. Now if, if you do this very often, just take a chunk of wood, put a radius in it, use that as a die, and uh, get yourself a pretty heavy duty thumper. Now this is a uh, uh, you know rubber hammer, so we're going to hit this pretty hard. But whatever you do, I'm using aluminum here on this stainless, so, so when I hit it, it's not going to to leave any indent marks here, because I still have to polish this. So let's, uh, let's start off with just a little bit of a change here. Okay, it's gonna make a little noise, so. Just one hit, it's already starting to straighten out. And do that, do that several times. I can see just a little bit of a curvature starting here. And you can work one side, hammer it, work the other side, hammer it. Okay, now you can actually start seeing the bend. And depending how good you get at this, you can create exactly the radius that you want. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hammer it a couple of more times. I wanna get a little bit more bend right here. Okay, yeah, not bad. So, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money doing this, but it did it put the curvature in there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is there's a couple of ways of doing these. You, you can make belt buckles all day long, but once you put the name in there, you can go ahead and polish it out. It has a nice little shiny background, or you can put a trim on there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a little trim on there before I do the final polishing. Okay, so we, we finished welding the outside trim of this. And again, you can either leave that on or, or take it off. You can get creative with this, but it's hot right now, so we're gonna go ahead and let it cool off. And we're gonna end part one by showing you this is all the front side welding that's gonna happen. And we're gonna get into some special polishing techniques here in part two. And we're gonna show you how to cut and weld on the hardware. Again, it's out of welding rods, so it's not a high expense. It's just, uh, it'll, it'll show your, your artistry. So anyway, thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.